I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Me I, too. You're amazing, and I want to see what you got. You know, what I wanted to do tonight was uh, give you guys an example of what sleight of hand is. For those who aren't familiar, uh, what I do is I use my 10 fingers and a little bit of cunning to create the illusion of magic. I'd like to show you a little bit okay. of that if you got a couple of seconds. Uh, here, inside of this empty purse, I'll make sure the camera gets to see that it is completely empty. I'm gonna leave this little guy right here in front of you, Governor. Okay. I'm also gonna use a little bit of imagination. Here's a little bit of that. And if you watch closely, just a little bit of imagination, a little bit of heat, and we get a solid silver American half dollar. Isn't that cool? That's very good. Weird. Now, here's the weird thing. Okay. Here's the weird thing. Now, this coin, you can see. This one, you have to see to believe. Watch. <laughs> how strange. did you do that? Years of practice and self-denial. <laughs> That's how that works. Now, the best wow. thing happened in three. So I'm okay. going to do it again. Okay. Uh, I'll even tell you what to watch. All you All have right. to do is keep your eyes right there on that little spot. Okay. If you watch right about there, you might see the moment. I get the third little coin. Isn't that the weirdest thing you've ever seen? That's pretty weird. Could you go to the bank with me? I'll get some money out and... The problem is it's going to transfer to my bank account, so it's not going to help that you at all. That doesn't help me a bit. Yeah, not one bit. No, But thanks. you know, they say easy come, easy go. I'll yeah. show you exactly what I mean. Okay. If you watch the top coin, if I give it a little squeeze, I can almost create the illusion that the coin not only becomes invisible, but it can travel back to the purse. Watch. I'll do it again with the two remaining coins. Watch the top one. Actually, you know what? Keep your eyes on this one. Because if you watch this coin, you might miss the moment. That one goes back to the purse. Leaving only one to go, and if you watch really closely, you might see, ha, huh, the second the last one goes, leaving inside of the purse that's been in front of you the entire time. Yes, it has. I hear something in there, Eric. Three wow. pieces of silver. It's the strangest thing. Really, really weird. But no, we were talking about things transferring back and forth yes. a little earlier. I want to give you another really quick example. Can I keep the coins? Is that... Uh... There's a cost for that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't blame a guy for asking. Go ahead. No, no. Three solid pieces of silver. The idea, believe it or not, is that one at a time, you'll see the three coins as they fly from the fingertips here, to the fingertips here, but hopefully without you seeing it go. Now, guys, there are two ways we can do this, with applause or the way you're doing it now. I've seen this thing before. Yeah. <laughs> I'm could... applauding all over this place. <laughs> this I is could... unreal. Have you open your right hand for just a moment, okay. and I'm going to leave that coin there for safekeeping. And I'm going to do it again. This time, I'm going to tell you to watch. Just keep your eyes on this little guy, because you know where the coin is. You also know where the coin's going to go. I'll do it in slow motion so you can see the moment. The second, the very instant the next coin flies from your left to your right. And that leaves only one left to go. Now, this one is my favorite because it travels in really weird ways. But first, if I could, sir, have you just close your hand tightly around those coins okay. and don't let me in no matter what I try. All right. If you watch the last one, you might see it as it travels from the fingertips here to here to here and back. And on a really cold day, I can get a coin like this to completely vanish. And if you could open your hands, show them what you've got, you should have one, two, and three pieces of silver. That is amazing, and I have no idea how you did that. But I've got one more really cool thing for you. Have okay. you got a minute? Would you mind coming to the front? I'll do Give it. Give a round of applause as he makes his way up to I'm the I'm afraid. Front. Thank you. I'm afraid you're going to make me disappear, Eric. I am going to try my best not to. Okay. Uh, if I could, sir, have you face me. Okay. And if you don't mind, open both of your hands, palm down. Palm down. Perfect. Okay. Reading my, uh, my future the back there. of the hand, yeah, yeah actually. Okay. Could you close both of your hands into sure. a fist? just like that. Taking a deep breath, slowly exhale, and if you could, push one of your hands towards me, either one. Perfect. Don't let me touch it. Okay. You can drop the other one. Okay. But if you could watch that... A little cross. Make sure we have a sure close-up of that. To see it. Yeah, because he's got his mark on his hand. Make Watch. Permanent marker. Nope, it's gone. If you don't mind, sir, slowly turn your hand towards the camera. Show him what you've got. 
Now, how did he do that? <laughs> Thank you. It'll wash off when you wash. <laughs> I'll never wash this hand. <laughs> that is incredible. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Folks, give it up for Eric Jones. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I got to admit, I am a sucker for magic tricks. I love sleight of hand. I absolutely do. I'm always entertained by it. And I have no idea how you did that. I mean, sometimes I think, well, I might. I have no idea. Well, that, thank you so much. My hand was closed. You didn't touch it. When did you decide as a kid, I'm going to be a magician? You know, it didn't even start as a kid. I didn't even get into magic until I was almost 20 years old. Really? Yeah, I, uh, I got to see uh, David Blaine. Yeah. And he, uh, you know, I don't know if you ever saw his first special, but he did this thing where he had a quarter and he bit it in half and then he spit the piece back on, restoring it. That was the first piece of magic I ever saw. Uh, and it actually, it, we call it getting bit by the bug. Mm -hmm. And that's when I got bit by the magic bug. But have you ever had one just go south on you, a trick that didn't, just didn't work? Day. Really? really? Every day. Something you sure crazy. didn't have one today. I mean, this all worked and it was absolutely That's stunning. what you think? Thank you. Thank you, Vince. Today's a success. And, and I Today's think a success. What, one of the things that impressed me most is that Penn and Teller, two of the truly amazing magicians, saw you, loved you, couldn't figure out what you had done and how you did it. And I think maybe that's the best compliment that ever could be given to Eric Jones is that two of the masters of the universe in the field of magic were blown away by your performance. You know, I've got a really interesting story if you guys have a couple of seconds. Sure. Um, you know, when I performed for Penn & Teller, uh, they have a person in their ear. The guy's name is Johnny Thompson. He's a consultant for the show. Um, and Johnny knows how every piece of magic on the show works. So when they go to deliberate on how they think I did the magic trick, when they first sat down, Penn actually said to Teller exactly how the trick worked, the actual method. Uh -huh. And Teller says to Penn, no, it doesn't work that way. Which I thought was interesting because Teller is the more knowledgeable magician, but Penn came up with the idea and he deferred to Teller's good judgment. So at the end of the day, I ended up fooling Teller, but not Penn. But I still walked away with a victory, which was kind of cool. That is very cool. And I want to tell you, you have an amazing gift. It is just fun to watch. Thank You're you. a fun person. You do this for corporations. You do it for any entity, I, I guess, big conventions and uh, uh, anything. Yeah, pretty much. I have been a full-time professional magician since 2009. Uh, luckily, my, my journey, I've been blessed to be able to travel all over the world doing what I do. I do work for Fortune 500. I work for a lot of high-end private events as well. Uh, but, you know, exposure like this is always amazing. Well, you're an amazing guy. I loved having you here, Eric. Thank you so it much for having me. It is a joy and a privilege. And uh, I'm, I'm going to leave this on for a long time. Next time, <laughs> leave a few silver pieces in my hand. I'll have to mark. do just that. Thank you very, Thank you so very much. much. Eric Thank Jones, you. everybody. Thank you. Now, you've got to see more of the amazing skills of this man. And you can do it at Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, even contact him to perform for your corporate or private event. I mean, who doesn't love magic? And for all those links and many more amazing illusions, and you really should go to his website and see some of the stuff that's on there. It's, it's stunning. Visit ericjonesmagic.com. That's ericjonesmagic.com.